and in this video I'll show you how to make this adorable little envelope clutch with a snap front. This is super fast and simple to make. You don't need to download any special templates to make this and I'll show you exactly how to make it in roughly 20 minutes. If you want to see more DIY projects like this one, let me know in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to it so you get updates when I post new videos, follow me on social media at Katrinaocity, check out my podcast at mdxpods.com and if you enjoy this video, please click the like button. It really helps my videos get seen. For this project, you'll need a cutting surface, some thin lightweight leather or faux leather, a large envelope, a small mallet, a very sharp X-Acto knife, a punching tool, an anvil or one of these mini anvils, leather lacing needles, leather lacing cord, and of course your snaps. Begin by opening up the seams of your envelope. I'm using an invitation envelope that is mostly square. And then when it's open, you can fold over these accessory tabs that were just used for adhesive to hold the whole thing together. Since we're going to be stitching up the sides, we don't need those. Then lay your envelope on a nice area of your leather and either trace around it or begin cutting. I prefer to trace and then use my X-Acto knife to cut just inside of that tracing line so that I don't have any of the ink on the clutch itself. Work slowly while you do this and make sure that your X-Acto knife is very sharp. If it's really sharp, you're not going to get any jagged edges. Then fold up your pouch the way you want it, figure out where you want to place the snap in the point of the clutch, then place your small anvil underneath it, punch a small hole, and then begin applying your snaps. Your snaps will come with their own directions as well as a tool to secure them in place. Secure the one on the outer flap first, then fold up your bag the way it's going to go and gently tap with your mallet to make a mark where your inside snap is going to go. Then unfold the clutch, use that mark that you just made as a guide, punch a small hole in the very center of it, and then use that hole to install your other end of your snap. Make sure that you work slowly and don't install one of the snaps backwards. There's nothing worse than having to ruin a project because you got the snap in the wrong way. Then once it's in place, secure the snap and begin marking where you're going to stitch the sides of your bag. You can use a pen or press these marks in with a needle and then use your small hole punch to punch all of those through the front and back of your pouch. Then tie a knot in the end of your waxed cord and begin stitching. Put the knot on the inside of your pouch going down through the second to bottom hole, then go up through the bottom hole and then continue your stitching like so. You're going to be repeating the stitch on the bottom back side of the bag, but the rest will be single stitches just zigzagging through the sides of your clutch. Go all the way up the sides of your clutch, ending at the top with that stitch overlapping the flap at the very top. Then double up that stitch the same way you did the first one, and instead of going through both layers, go through only the first layer, and then tie your knot on the inside of your clutch. Begin by tying a regular overhand knot, and then before you pull it tight, place the needle through the center and pull the knot as close to the inside of the seam as you can before pulling it all the way tight. Then cut off the excess cord with your X-Acto knife and repeat this exact same process on the other side of your clutch and finish it off the exact same way. And that is your finished clutch. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more projects like this one, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. It really helps my videos get seen.